back. We are now going to look at how to add multiple deformers to a single drawing layer. And I'm going to go to my library and we can see that we have one layer of this leg. And let's start by putting a bone deformer in like we did in our previous leg. I'm going to turn my rigging tool on. I'm going to choose your automatic mode this time. And I'm going to simply click, click, and click. Let's go inside the node view and see what happens. We have now have a leg that has a, a deformer group on it. And that deformer group is associated to this original drawing. And let's just go inside and look at our library. Our original drawing is drawing number one. Whoops, excuse me, drawing number one. Now we want to have both a bone and a curve leg. So depending on what the posing is that we're doing, we can use either or. I'm going to select this leg, and I'm going to duplicate it. Now the first thing you'll notice when I duplicate it, um, we now have a, a number two, but we have the same deformer on number two, so we need to break that chain. So I'm going to go up and I'm going to press this button. This is a button that we skipped over when we looked at our deformation toolbar. And I'm going to press that. And you'll notice right away it disappears. The deformer that was there disappears. So now I'm going to turn my rigging tool back on. And I'm going to click and drag and click and drag. And now I'm going to go over here and press it, the transform tool. Now we have a leg that is a curve, or if I switch back, I can also have my bone. Now, for um, if you wanted to have a third leg, and let's say that the, the, the next leg, we needed to paint it a different color. For whatever reason, we needed a, a leg that was its own unique color. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to duplicate this again, and I'm going to paint it a slightly different color, and it doesn't really matter what color I use. I just want to sort of show you a point. Let's say for whatever reason he got a bunch of red paint on his leg. So we have our red leg, and we have our two normal legs. Now, if I want to associate one of those two deformers, now let's go back. Our first deformer is a bone. Our second deformer is a curve. And now I want to add either a bone or a curve to it. My, f my bone was the first one. My curve was the second one. And on this, maybe this red leg, I want to use number two, which is going to be the curve. Now I've just simply added a deformer that was used previously, or maybe I want number one. And we can, we can, that's what this sort of drop down menu allows me to do. And finally, I could rename the transformations, but I'm going to leave them as they are. So again, transformation selector, I select the leg, and I can decide do I want it to be a bone or a curve. And this was the button I used to um, create a new deformer chain. I can do it, I can do it um, on this leg. We know that if I press this button that shows me the original deformer. Select that. And now I can have a curve on that leg now too. If I select that leg, I have both a curve and a bone. Okay, that's how we can use these three buttons and that is how we can add multiple deformers to the same drawing level. Thank you very much.